because I still have a healthy queen in this box. But what's strange is she's not laying. Hello, my busy bees. It is Sunday, June 10th, and we installed queens into our walkaway splits about two weeks ago. So we're gonna get into those today and make sure those queens have started laying. The hive we're gonna start with is Alpine. This is the hive where I found a couple of eggs in that single frame in the top box. So I was concerned about a laying worker, but let's get in here and check on this queen. Fingers crossed, we didn't have a problem with that laying worker and our queen is laying. I had something very interesting happen in this hive. Let's see if I can explain it to you and it makes sense. Okay, so here's my deep. This is my bottom box. And then this was the second box, which is full of honey. And then I have the pink box, which was the top box, and the green box, which was the third box. So when I got into this colony, these two boxes are full of drone brood. So we obviously have a lane worker situation in those two boxes. However, this box being full of honey apparently created some kind of uh, excluder per se in this colony because I still have a healthy queen in this box. But what's strange is she's not laying. She's been in here for two weeks. She should be laying, mm -hmm. but she's not. But there she is. She's perfectly alive and healthy. Um, I think that the reason she's not laying is because there's nothing down in this box. Like these frames are empty. There's nothing down here. And the box that is above it is completely full of honey. So she can't, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. And then above that box, we've got these two that have a lane worker in it. So I'm really conflicted what to do here, but here's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna completely shake these boxes out in another location. Um, there are frames of honey in there, but we've got shallows and we've got mediums. So I'm not able to condense them down into one box. Um, but I'm going to shake them out and then hopefully we'll lose our lane worker in this. And then this queen that we have here will start, you know, doing her job, I guess. This is definitely the queen that I installed. You can see her wing is clipped. Um, you know, I feel like if there were gonna be a problem, they would have already killed her, but I would sure think that she ought to be laying by now. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go shake out these bees, and ah, man, hopefully this queen will start laying pretty soon. I don't know what the deal is. This is our second split. This is Vanaheim. And I don't suspect to have any problems with this one. We did not have a lane worker situation in here. All right, we found our queen in this top box. Um, I've definitely got to do some rearranging in this hive and do some downsizing. So our bottom deep is completely empty. Our middle deep is completely empty. And the bees are literally on three frames in this top box. But here is our pattern from our new queen pretty happy with that she uh, she's got to work she's laying good that side looks just the same so what I'm gonna do is do some rearranging in here I might need to bring in a queen excluder to get our queen in the bottom box and then uh, I'm gonna pull that middle box off so they'll just have the one super where they are and there's our little queen All right, I did some rearranging. I got my queen down in my bottom box and I put a queen excluder. And then the four frames of brood that we had, 
I scooted them to the center of that box and then I put the middle box on top because they have stores in it and it makes sense for it to be on the top box. But I think this hive will be fine. That queen's in the bottom where she belongs and I'm sure she'll get right to work. Hello my busy bees. We are not in my bee yard if you can't tell. We're at a local pumpkin patch where my bees have been enlisted for pollination. Uh, it's the first time I've ever done that and it's really a proud parent moment for me. It's pretty cool. Uh, they are flying everywhere. I can see the blooms on the pumpkin patch. It's, it's really cool out here. But you know that doesn't change the fact that we've got two hives out here with new queens that we need to check in on. And also that weird situation that we found in Alfheim. We need to make sure that we've resolved that. I've already lit the smoker up, so let's get started and get out of here as quickly as we can. I don't want to impose on the landowners too much. I just want to check on these queens. All right, here's our stump hive. There's a brood pattern. All right. There we go. All right, so this queen in our stump hive is all set. We're gonna close these guys up and let them get back to work. All right, this is Netta Valir. Let's see if our queen settled in here. These guys are busy, busy. Man, they are working. I haven't seen this busy all year. A little bit of drone brood on this frame. That's okay, just one frame. There's some worker brood. All right, this frame is full of larva. That looks good. Okay, there's a nice pattern right there. Another nice frame. I am seeing a lot of drones. All right, these aren't terrible. There's, uh, there's larva in those open cells. So, I'm happy with this. It's not as nice as I have seen with these Buckfast Queens, but this hive was kind of a mess. Net of a Lear and the Stump Hive, those queens have started laying, everything looks great. The pattern in Net of a Lear is a little patchy, but I think we just kind of caught an off cycle because the cells that I were seeing that were open did have larvae in them. So I'm pretty happy with those two hives. Um, we're gonna get into Alfheim now. Now, if you watched my last video, you'll notice I had quite the mess in Alfheim. Uh, I had a laying worker in a top box and then below a full super hun box, honey super box, I had a queen that wasn't laying. I pulled that top box that had the laying workers and I put those frames in a freezer to freeze all that drone brood. And when I went back later, I noticed that there was some worker brood mixed in with all that drone brood. So now I'm kind of thinking that maybe I did not have a laying worker situation, but more of a drone laying queen situation. So, Let's get into Alfheim, see what we see. We may still have a big mess in here. All right, let's see what we see. I'm really hoping I don't see a ton of drone brood. Now, this queen came from a very reputable breeder. If she is a drone laying queen, um, it's, it's not because the breeder sold me a bad queen. It's because she was damaged in shipping or she was damaged, you know, when she was introduced to the hive. I want to be very clear that I do not at all think the breeder is responsible for selling me a drone laying queen at all. There she is, there's our queen. Let's hope we've got some normal looking brood in here, okay? All right, 
right, there's some worker brood and some drone brood and a little queen cup. Okay, guys, this is what I'm used to seeing with these buckfast queens. So, I think we're good here. I'm happy with that frame. We do not have a drone lane queen in here. We had a lane worker. But we have fixed that problem. And we got a nice queen in here. And we got to see her. How about that? All right, guys. All three of those hives look great. I'm super happy with what I'm seeing in there. Thank goodness that we don't have a drone laying queen in Alfheim. She is doing her job. She is laying worker brood. It looks amazing. Um, we're on the other side of the pumpkin patch now where I have the rest of my hives. You can see this side has not been weeded out. Y'all, the landowner is weeding this by hand. It's 15 acres. Um, I'm super impressed by that. But anyways, there's still blooms out here. I can see them. They're out there and the sky is full of bees. I wish y'all could see that, but it's absolutely full of bees. And these, these boxes, I have not seen my girls this busy all year. It's really been a tough year for us with the wind and the drought, but they're making a living out here and I am so happy about it. Guys, I really appreciate y'all sticking around. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications if you like what you see. Bye.